I'm sure you've seen one of these before. These are those $10 to $20 cheap VR headsets that you can find at most local stores. Well, unfortunately, they're pretty much just more expensive versions of Google Cardboard. Yeah, that that we saw before in one of my older videos. The VR is pretty limited, there's not much you can do, but hey, you can watch 3D videos and 360 YouTube videos, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, those tend to get boring pretty fast. Enter Trinus VR. This application is advertised to allow you to play VR games on your Google Cardboard or pretty much any headset. Interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and see how well it works. The setup is very easy. Simply download the PC server first, and then you can download the app for your phone. There's a free trial and there's also a $10 full version. We're going to be using the free trial today. Then go ahead and load it up and you'll have three different ways to connect. You can use standard Wi-Fi from your router, you can use direct Wi-Fi tethering from your phone, or you can even use a direct USB connection, which is probably the best performance. We're going to be testing all three today just to see how each of them perform. We're going to be running on 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, so this is going to be the worst possible setup we can do. So let's try that and see how well it works out. Let's just go ahead and start loading the game first. Using menus is much easier than mouse. Unfortunately, this doesn't have any way to click, so you still have to use your mouse and keyboard or joystick or whatever, but it's, it's something at least. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, now we have the game running, and it's on my phone too. Let's go ahead and, as you can see, I'm tilting to aim. Let's go ahead and try it. Slide it into my VR headset, because that's how you do it. And wow, okay, so the resolution is not too bad, but the frame rate and movements are pretty slow. Let's see, I'm getting like a good half second of lag, so for an FPS, completely unplayable. Maybe something else is playable. Um, I can move my mouse or I can move my head. Yeah, it's like about a half second, so not completely terrible, just not great for FPS. Alright, so you can use your mouse kind of to compensate, so you like move your mouse to center level, and then you can like look up, down, you look at no hands. All right, and then I can just click the shoot. So yeah, overall the first test was looking pretty promising. Sure, it's pretty much unplayable with FPSs, but I mean, this is on the worst possible setup. I haven't touched the sensitivity. I haven't gone on USB or even like direct connection Wi-Fi. So each eye only sees about half a 720p. So the resolution is pretty low, but the actual tracking is actually pretty good. I was actually really surprised about that. And the VR aiming is a little bit weird too. I found myself having to use the mouse to recenter my view, then using my head for more precise aiming. Kind of like in the motion controls in Breath of the Wild, where you could use the Joy-Cons or the gamepad to get just a little bit more precision to your aiming. That's what it kind of feels like here. But yes, technically this program does actually work. And with 3D games like Crisis, you actually get the 3D effect too. Alright, now let's go mess with the sensitivity a little bit. Hopefully you can make this just a little bit more usable. Alright, we did some tweaking and hopefully we can make it work better. First thing we did was we're tethering from our computer to our phone. So that should hopefully get rid of some of that frame rate drops and stuttering and stuff we had. The other main thing, the mouse kept going out of the window and we kept losing connection. There was another big problem. So I was looking through the settings and hopefully this mouse lock option will fix that. As you can see right here under sensor mode, under main. Under sensors, you can go ahead and adjust the sensitivity. I boosted a bunch of these way up, so hopefully I can actually see a little bit better. So let's go ahead and try it now. Oh wow, that's way better. Look at this, no hands. And shooting. Alright, that's way better. Looks pretty good. Way less delay now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, up. Oh. And as expected, this experience is significantly better on direct Wi-Fi. It's really hard to see this in the video, so I try to record it with my phone. Phone screens are really hard to record, so sorry about the quality. Anyway, on the top we have 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. As you can see, there's a pretty decent delay there. Not huge, but still pretty bad for like FPS and stuff. And on bottom, direct Wi-Fi connection, significantly better. So yeah, both are on 2.4 GHz, so we'll slow them down a little bit and hopefully you can see just a little bit better how much difference there is. Okay, I died. But yeah, significantly better this time. Uh, I'm going to have to probably throw some footage on the screen to show you guys what it looks like. Just side by side, but it's much better. All 
All right, and for the final test, we're going to be using uh, the USB mode, which is a like completely wired mode. So this should hopefully give us the best experience. Enabling USB tethering on my phone, and it says we're tethered. Sorry. All right, connected through USB. All right, we got the recording up and running, so let's go ahead and try. This is Crisis 3 by USB over USB on a $10 VR headset with a pretty old phone. Dude, Nexus 5 is like how many years old now? And yeah, the direct connection offers a way better experience, better frame rate, better responsiveness, just all around superior. Now it's still nowhere near the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift, but if you already have one of these headsets laying around and you just want to have some fun with it, download this app for free. I mean, I've been using it for over an hour and it's, it's a bit of fun. I mean, it's definitely not the ideal way to play this game. This is definitely not real VR, but hey, if you just want to show off to your friends, it's fine. Crisis was never meant to be played in VR, have any but it's still just something fun you can do. So, uh, is, would I say you should go out and buy a headset for this? Probably not. But if you already have a Google Cardboard or VR box style headset, I say give this app a try. It's perfectly free, and it's just something you can show off to your friends. So anyway, anyway, here's the delay on USB. Again, still not good enough for real FPS gameplay, but it's still good enough just for a little bit of fun. It's a free app, so you're not really losing anything. So alright, if you guys want to see the full gameplay of this little session on USB, I'll have it up on my YouTube channel, linked below. Uh, if you want to download this app or buy this VR headset, I'll have links in the description too. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Yep, see you later. Bye.